You're from Niger? Yeah. Oh, you too? Yeah, me, me. I'm hey. from Niger. Oh, yeah. No good in Niger? No, Niger. I think he killed the people. Oh, yeah. He can't kill you fast. He's transfer. No he is, he is okay. Oh, he Ghana, no. no problem. First country, Niger. Oh, no good. Niger, Burkina, Mali. Yeah, yeah, it's dangerous. Oh, yeah. It's dangerous. Yeah. 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 Good morning internet, it is quarter to seven in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome here in Abidjan. As you can see, Alaska spent the night here inside, parked inside, which is nice. Always gives me a better sleep at night. <laughs> I'm now waiting for uh, my breakfast and then I'm gonna hit the road. I actually have to update my map because I haven't drawn in yet, uh, well, kind of my route or all what happened through Liberia and uh, to get here. So before I'll show you the map and my plan for today, I will update my map um, and I'll also of course show you the breakfast because it's really good here. Merci so you can see here, this was my route all through Liberia and then well, from here onwards I was towed to the border and then this is all that I did with Alaska back on the back of the pickup truck here to Abidjan right here. So you can see, Ivory Coast, that I am very close. I think I'm only one hour away from the border with Ghana. And well, at first my plan was to actually not leave Côte d'Ivoire before really exploring it. But I've changed my mind because it doesn't really make any sense. I am so close to the border. I don't want to backtrack again into the country and then go again that way. So then first I thought, okay, maybe I'll just go up north and then cross into Ghana somewhere there. But then some of the locals told me that the north of Ivory Coast is actually not really safe. There's some jihadist activity there because it's close to the border with Burkina Faso and also the border with Mali. Um, so I, I, and I don't really know until what area is safe and what area is not. And then additionally, on the other side of the border here in Ghana, that's kind of the first thing I want to see in Ghana. So if I'm gonna ride all the way up and then I'm gonna ride all the way down in Ghana again, it just doesn't really make much sense. So all things considered, I decided to cross the border into Ghana today. All right, I am on my way. <laughs> Leaving Abidjan, well, leaving Côte d'Ivoire. I'm ready for Ghana. Well, the total distance for today is only 225 kilometers. Should be easily doable with a border crossing. Uh, it feels so good to be moving again, because that's the thing, like, I just want to always move towards my goal and kind of backtracking again now to see a little bit more of Ivory Coast, it just, it's counterintuitive to me. I just always want to move forward and don't go back. So this feels, this feels good. This feels right. There is a huge traffic jam on the other side. All these people are trying to get into Abidjan. It's like the morning rush hour. Oh, see, the ambulance is just uh, riding on this side. So yeah, I'm glad I'm riding the other way. Even though I am heading straight for those dark clouds.
These are all uh, rubber trees. You see the, the little buckets attached to the tree it's to extract the, ru extract the rubber. I just need to not forget to get some more cash, CFA. And the reason is that I'll need that before I enter Togo. So I'm already I'm thinking two countries ahead. Finally success. <laughs> now the thing is uh, this currency CFA they'll have it again in Togo not in Ghana but in Togo um, and I will need to buy a visa on arrival at the border in Togo so I need this money <laughs> and I was almost out that's sorted what's next a rope Okay. Yeah. yeah. Bonjour. Well, there are a lot of trucks trying to get into Ghana. And here everybody will speak English again in Ghana. No more French. Welcome to Ghana. Hi. Thank you. You look beautiful. Oh, thanks. You too. Where is your, uh, your motor documents? You book here. My uh, Cornet de Passage? Or? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You do the same passage for your motor. Park here? Okay. Why? Welcome to our village. Oh, thank, thank you. Are you going to something? Yeah. Okay. Welcome. Ghana City. What's your rate? Uh, 1,018 cities. Look at For. No, no, I want to change US dollar. US dollar. Yeah. US dollar. How many? 100 US. 100 US. I have 80 US. You need the SEPA. No, no, no. Yeah. I need uh, Ghana City. It is so I can't say. 180. Uh, 180. 7.8. 7.2. 7.2. Oh, that's bad. Huh? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, this one. Uh, one, uh, one no motor. Wait. You have beautiful eyes. Oh, thank you. You don't have a husband. So marry, so marry. I don't Somebody want to marry, no. I won't marry you. Okay. okay. Yeah, give me some smaller also. Yeah, so now I will give you five. One, two, three. One, two, Hello. Three, four, five. This is 700. 700 and 20. Yeah. Okay, how much do you give me for 30 euros? 30 euros. How much for the sim? 50. Is activated? Is it activated? He give me he give me good price. What? No, no, you give me 10. No, I don't get 10. <laughs> give me ten. <laughs> yeah, so he can give you. He can give you forty Ghana. You see, no. Me, my buy my small, small. Yeah, I guess so. Thanks for trying. I need some internet also. Uh, internet. This is a uh, Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah, this one will be orange. Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah. Has some internet still. You can use. Internet, internet. I can take. Yeah. I give me simple food. Thank you. Give me. You're welcome. You change money. You know. You know. You know the. <laughs> you bag the police side. Yeah. I see you. Here. You see me? Yeah. 
What language you speak? Which language? Zaruma. Zaruma. He also Zaruma. Okay, Ah. Niger. You're from Niger? Yeah. Oh, you too? Yeah, me, me. I'm hey. from Niger. Oh, yeah. Why why you come here? Yeah. No good in Niger? No, Niger. I think you kill the people, yeah. It's dangerous. Yeah, yeah. dangerous. Yeah. You kill people. You can't kill you fast. You know transfer. He is he is okay. Oh, yeah, Ghana, no. no problem. Oh, no good Niger kill Mali. Yeah, yeah, it's dangerous. Oh, yeah. No. Um, like um, five gigabyte. Thanks, sir. Take care. England. Huh? England. Netherlands. Take care. <laughs> Park here. Next to warning. No parking. <laughs> you not see the sign. Morning, no parking. Ah, that's uh, not <laughs> this is the police people do. Okay. Ah. What's up, bandit? How much? Um, like five gigabytes. What's your name? Botsari. Botsari? Yeah. From Niger? Niger. <laughs> <laughs> you from Ghana? Or from Niger? Everybody from Niger. 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 Oh, sorry. Niger. Yeah. Everybody from Niger? Yeah, every, you know, be everybody. Eh? Not everybody. No. All right. All right. Well, that was it. <laughs> that was it. I spent the most time uh, getting the money changed <laughs> and getting a SIM card. I just need to put my gloves back on, actually. This time I rode Alaska across the border so I can do the proper thing. <laughs> Welcome to Ghana! I have gotten myself a warm welcome. I already had uh, three marriage proposals. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, always a bonus. No, the people have been really nice. <laughs> And uh, I'm only gonna ride 63 kilometers. And then uh, I'm gonna try and reach a pretty cool place here in Ghana and stay the night there. So let's see how the dirt roads in Ghana look like with the rains. This is not bad. Here is the coast, look at that. Waves! I am right here at the beach. I'm gonna locate myself a canoe. Don't worry, I'm not gonna <laughs> bring Alaska this time. <laughs> That's not the plan. Just need to find a safe place for parking, Alaska. That's all.
Perfect. Yeah. Right. Welcome to my room. I'm just gonna take off my gear and then, I don't know, explore the village. So this is where I'm sleeping tonight. With a view underwater. That's the type of boat that we use ah. for farming, for um, fishing and the rest. So, but how long does it take to make one of these? Um, uh, four to six days. Four to six days. Because um, it's a heavy tree, then you have yeah. to you know, carry it gradually. Wow. And, uh, that's a fishing trap. Ah, okay, yeah. What type of fish are mostly in the lake here? Um, um, tilapia, mudfish and catfish. Oh, okay. Ah. I was talking about. Oh, you there are crocodile in here. Yeah, the baby what? Oh yeah. <laughs> but for the the very small children, you must watch them all the time that they don't fall in the water. Yeah, no? yeah so we are careful about them. Yeah, yeah. They will teach you how to swim. Yeah. How to pad your own boat. Exactly. Like, so um, yeah. Everybody here can swim. Can swim. Yeah, of course. Yeah. This is the main street. This is the main street. Yeah, called, I'm mean, popularly known as since Joseph High Street. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hi. How are you? How many people live in the village? You know? um, 510. 510, wow. Yeah, but sometimes it's quite big. Because of the occupation here, others stay on the farmland for a week, ah. three days, four days. And then they come back? Yeah. I see. So, um, a trap. Ah, yeah. Everybody's busy. Yes. Ah, they're working on it now. Yeah, working on it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, this is a mat made from the raffia. Ah, that's also raffia. Oh, yeah. Cool. And, uh, what means one family? This avenue, a joint avenue like this, or a joint lane. Oh, a joint lane means th this is all one family. Yeah, here, here, they are the same people. Ah. <laughs> So normally the kitchens are on this side. Kitchen is on like the jungle side. Yeah, jungle side and the houses, that one you can build here, you can build here. Yes. But kitchens are not allowed to build on the lake. Ah. No, because of the wind. Ah, then the smoke will come. Yeah. I see. How does it work? Let's say Zuma. Where you from? Draft. Draft. Yeah, so we draft it like this. Yes. You can only go sideways. Yeah. So listen, we're going to eat three. You just oh, have a one. look. Yeah. Oh. So when it enters here, yeah, means this one is a, is a chief Same. or a king. Oh. Oh. So this one can move from extra power. Extra power. Oh. 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 Get back. Yeah. Oh. He's a winner. Ah, so fast in the end. Yeah. <laughs> So they sell smoothies and also sobolo. For the what? They sell smoothies. Oh, smoothies. And uh, sobolo. Araquia Cafe. You like that? <laughs> Do you like that? Ekro like like sobolo. Yes. So that's a school. Oh, that's a school. Yeah. Ah. So we start from Nazareth to Premier Six. Food has arrived. Look at that. So this is chicken. Chicken and spaghetti and rice. Very nice. This is my 
So since about 10 years, they now have electricity here in the village. It took about six months to build the electricity line from the mainland to here, because that goes basically just all through the swamplands. So behind the little houses on that side, so behind there, it looks like there's land there. But it's not really land, it's more like swampy area. And so they made this whole electricity line all through there. So now there's electricity here. Uh, before that, they already had television. Um, so that was, what, what did they say now? In, 20, yeah, in 2012, they got the main electricity line. And before that, they had car batteries. So they would charge car batteries in town and then come here with canoes and then use the car batteries to, I don't know, watch TV or use that as a power source. But yeah, those days are gone. The water source, so they will get water straight from the lake, which for drinking, and they don't treat it or anything like that. Obviously, they don't take the water right here at the village. So what they'll do is they'll go with a canoe, they'll go out on the lake, pretty much halfway or almost to the other side, and there they'll get water from the lake for drinking. On that side, there is some land, and on that side, there's some land, and they use that for farming. So they are producing cassava and plantain. Those are the two crops that they're farming. And then in the rainy season, so now there is a lot of fishing going on. So a lot of people are working on the traps for fishing. But yeah, other than that, that, that those are the things that, kind of the jobs that are here, farming, fishing. So it was an amazing place to start my journey through Ghana. Really, really cool place. I'm really enjoying it here. I'm gonna stay one night. Um, I do have to be careful though, because well, there is no bathroom here. So if I need to use the restroom in the night time, I have to walk kind of through the village to the other side, um, because the toilet is kind of close to the swampy area. So I better not drink too much tonight. <laughs> a successful border crossing, another country. So I'm going to end this video now. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please give a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video.